All right, YouTube, we're back for another round, another setup here, another league. Struggled my last league. Started out 2-0, but went um, 2-3. and three. Went Lost the last three. Pretty disappointed with how I played, so I'm going to try to play this league a little better. Kind of wake up, pay attention a little more. Pull, pull my head out of my ass, as my father used to say. Old paps. All right, his hand's pretty good. It's really explosive. This hand's really good against a non-interactive deck or opponent that mulligans. All right, so if I get Affinity, which this hand's decent, can be decent against Affinity because we have Battle Rage. And hopefully we get to hit their payoff card here. What they do? They put a card on the bottom. So let's check out our top card. If we like it, we'll play Blood Crypt. If we don't, we'll shuffle it away. Serum Visions. Ah, uh, we don't need that. It's probably it might be better than a random draw, but it's not much better. And I'd rather just not invest the mana into it, especially next turn when our mana is going to be so tight. Okay, so we're just going to take this Arcbound Ravager, and next turn we'll take the Etch Champion. Oh, jeez. If my opponent misses a land drop, I'm just going to play two Death Shadows. Looks like they're going to miss a land drop. Guess. And we had a stub. My opponent's dead as a doorknob. So just get another Watery Grave. There's a chance my opponent's dead on three. Depending on what they do here, how aggressive my opponent gets. They basically, they have to leave back two blockers in order to not die on turn three, I think. They find a colored source that can hit my... Yeah, so now they can Gal Blast. Okay, Ravager's big game. Okay, so they're at 20. If I find a fetch land, I'm in pretty good shape. I did. Fetch land finds me steam vents. So for my opponent to not die here, they actually have to let damage resolve. Uh, they can't sack anything. Because if they sack something, then I'm going to kill it. I still have my steam vents, so we're going to go to 7 here. And then they can't kill me on the crackback. Well, I guess they can if they let damage resolve. They have to let damage resolve on both. So then one, two, three. Yeah, I guess they can kill me on the crackback, but then I don't I don't sack. Hey, what's up, bud? And now we pass priority. And my opponent's dead. Combo deck. Yeah, and then, then we were even safe on the next thing. On the next turn, we'll just do it all again. And we have Stubborn Denial up, so like, there's no draw, I think, that kills us next turn either. So against Inf or against Affinity, I want everything that says kill a creature. And then I've got these rejections that I sometimes bring in. We don't want these. Street Wraiths can get out of here. These Anglers can get out of here. Um, the Stubs can get out of here. And then I actually, so after sideboarding, I like shaving on lootings. 
against decks like this because all of my cards are so good that it, there's actually a very legitimate cost in going down a card. And I don't want to do that. On the draw, I'm going to keep it a Thoughtseize. And I'm going to, on the draw, on the play, I'm going to switch Thoughtseize for a Gurmag Angler. But this is what we're going to do while we're on the while we're on the draw. On the play, we'll go down a discard spell. I just want to make sure I don't get run over in the early game. So one hard part about Faithless Looting is that oftentimes you... Um, so this is a keep. It's not great, but it's a keep. It's it's a turn two. It's a potential turn two angler with disruption on one and two. Like if I draw a second land, I can go... Well, I can't do disruption on one and two because I need to find mana in order to uh, emulify. That sucks. That's tough. We might give him a chance, though, with our hand. They put a card on top, so... I like leading off on a discard spell, I think. Because this just isn't really that powerful. So let's see what their top card is. I actually can learn a little bit by figuring this out. This is why Bobble is sweet. It just lets us cantrip and cycle through our deck and gain information while feeling down. Steel Overseer. So we want to save our removal spell for that. So now we're just going to get Watery Grave... And thought sees or inquisition something. Okay, we're just gonna definitely take this rest in peace. We could get run over by the by the dipshit brigade if we don't hit. Well, if we hit this Liliana, then the X ones are just like you know the kids these days say like pay F, press F to whatever. And we're just going to kill this. Because if, if this thing lives, it just invalidates our Liliana. And... So I'm going to get Blood Crypt. Push. Um, I'm just going to bolt it. And then I'm not going to discard spell this Vault Scourge. Because it's just worth it to cycle another card in order to work towards my third land. Not my third land. Yeah, my third land drop. Like, the, the X1s are going to be small ball as soon as Liliana hits the battlefield. Okay, signal pest. So if I miss, I'm definitely going to merc that signal pest. But Cycle. Well, my turn next turn is still pretty good. Okay, so we hit the land, so the game's more than likely over. Especially if they don't have a way to kill this Liliana, which they don't currently. They need one more point of power. That's not bad also. I'm gonna actually just going to fetch a basic. Fills my graveyard more for Lava Dad if we draw it. It's nice that we have the second red source also for Lava Man. And we have the Fatal Push set up for the Inkbloth Nexus, too. So as long as we don't get... Even if we get Cranial Plating here, my opponent can't play it. Okay, Ravager's real good. Ravager doesn't kill my Liliana. They're just going right at me. That sort of makes sense. So I think I'm going to tick up on this Ravager. So they're sacking the Vault Scourge to this. So what does that mean? The last thing that I want to have happen is this, to get on the Ink Moth Nexus, I think. So I think I'm actually just going to push this right now. I could push this, but then they can animate, put it on the Ink Moth. But I want this, because then Liliana can interact with this in future turns. And now I'm just going to Serum Visions and then play Angler. Put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. 
one, two, three, four, five. Take any position. And I'm just going to play this land tap. We don't have any faithless lootings. So there's no need to uh, hold the lands. All right. Opponent's getting some beats on. Hitting us on, hitting us on dual fronts. We're just one more draw step from this game being over. That's likely enough. Yeah, that's super enough. So we're going to plus on this, attack, play two Death Shadows. There's a bolt on top of the deck. Even Cranial Plating only deals three damage to us, and then we can bolt it. Because it's one, two, three. I guess it deals four damage to us, excuse me. Which still is lethal. Like, at that point, if you're ever like racing Death Shadow and you're not just like you have to one shot Death Shadow. Chip shotting it's not gonna not gonna get it done. It's a good way to start out the league. Kind of a convincing win. I mean it sucked that my opponent mulliganed a lot, but that that is what it is. Good way to start. Hopefully we can just rattle off another five in a row. That would be gas. That would be gasolina. So how's the chat's day going? Is everybody everybody having a good day? Just hanging out. Everybody watch it. Well, do you guys do you guys watch Twitch at work or are you working weird hours? Or I guess I don't even know what time it is wherever people are watching. I might try a list in a little while that has like maybe one or two young pyromancers in the sideboard, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Wolf19 or 19640, if you're still in the chat, thank you very much. I appreciate you uh, with the follow. <clears throat> I usually stream every Wednesday night and Sunday morning, but I won't be streaming tonight because I have to work. So I'm sitting here babysitting Phil. I'll have to put my work in tonight. I have a bunch of stuff i got to do. Triple Pyromancer all the way. God, you're a crazy man. I, I'm interested in trying one, though. All right, this is a pretty good hand. I'm going to start off with Serum Visions because I like all my cards. This is like... Not this is a fast angler, which can with it might be an angler. Wait, one, one, two, five, seven. So I can't do angler plus stubborn denial unless I draw a bobble or a street race. Right? One, two, five, six. And I so if I draw a free spell, then I can cast my angler with stubborn denial up. Which is actually probably an argument to Faithless Looting first, because I get more looks at... Well, that was stupid. No, I should... I get more looks at a free card with Serum Visions. But, hang on, hang on. Don't leave, I don't want to lose my mind here. I'm, going, I'm being so stupid. I'm playing so loose today. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to cast... I needed to cast this in order to have Angler on two. With Stubborn Denial. But I didn't. I even hit, so I'm punished, super punished, because I hit the card that I needed. I think I want both of these. I just punished all the way around there. Just not, I'm just a little off the ball today. Okay, so we're probably playing against Mono White, or a, a Hate Bears kind of deck. 
Yeah. We're playing against Bogles. All right, well, at least we get to discard spell them. So I kind of like actually going discard spell and holding up Stubborn Denial because I don't want to tap out and let them hit like a Spirit Mantle. Spirit Mantle is just so bad for us. So let's... Let's go fetch a Blood Crypt. I think I'm, I think I can afford to play this turn a tad slow, especially if my opponent shows me something like a um, shows me something like a core spirit dancer here that I have the chance to yeah, this is what we wanted to hit. So the ethereal armor is pretty annoying. The glade cover scout's pretty annoying. All these things are so annoying. Now we gotta find battle rage. I think I'm gonna take this ethereal armor. And then kind of dare my opponent to use this Spirit Mantle. The Spirit Mantle is also kind of clunky. And if they, say they just go creature, creature, then I'll get to play Gurmag Angler. One, two, three, four. If they go creature, creature, I'm actually kind of in a, in a tough spot. I, almost, I just want to take this Ethereal Armor and then try to maneuver away where my opponent goes for this. And I can, like, time walk them, waste their whole turn. So one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to take this ethereal armor. I'm going to be able to deal with this at some point. This might be telegraphing to my opponent, like, what I'm, what my intentions are here. They just go for it. All right, gas. So now they have Spider Umbra, Glade Cover Scout, Glade Cover Spout, Scout, and then X. So if we draw a fetch land here, we're in good shape. Now I can actually get away with looting because I'm likely not, this dismember is likely not going to have a lot of text in this matchup. So I already have a bad card. I kind of want it all. I could just thought seize and then play Gurmag and not be greedy. But I kind of want to be greedy. So if I hit a land, I can go Gurmag and Death Shadow. It's so good for the home team. If I don't hit a land, then I just play... Like, they can't play an enchantment. They would need to have enchantment plus land plus Daybreak Cornet to really get me. So I think we're going to get greedy here. Yeah, and we got we got there. So let's ditch this. And now I just even want to get rid of this. And now play Angler and Death Shadow. And then I can go Snap Thought Seize next turn if I want in order to grow, crack them for 10. Or I can just sit on Stubborn Denial for the rest of the game and hit what matters. Um. So my opponent goes Spider Umbra Land Daybreak Cornet. I look like a moron. Well, there's half of it. Spider Umbra. Spider Umbra. Okay, that's not bad. So I think I'm just going to play this because it just threatens more damage and effective blocking. I would like to be able to loot it away, but I think I just want to like continue to hammer home the pressure here. And I could flash the Snapcaster Mage in to chump block this, but I'm just not really about that life. I would rather, like, because and even if they attack, I guess I could have just taken it and then crack them for more damage. The problem is they're going to have enough chump blockers where this game's going to last a little while unless I find a Battle Rage. 
I'd like to hold this Snapcast and Mage to not dig for anything. They just kind of hold up what my opponent's doing. Yeah, so now they play triple double scout and their Hellman. And then we and we have their next important enchantment covered. And we can just keep attacking, keep just pecking away with this Death Shadow. And then we're and we're slowly just building up to having a really effective rooting, I think. Especially if we get rid of this Snapcaster Mage for some reason. Yeah, they're just going to we're just gonna whittle away their board slowly. And I could be getting more aggressive with my Gurmag Angler, which maybe I should be doing. This is probably a nope, it's not a Dryad Arbor. They're not playing around the Liliana the Veil. I don't think that matters. I think that's okay. Like, like it doesn't do anything. It's another, it's just more brick walls, but yeah, I think we're just going to continue to peck in with this death shadow. We could, like, we're pretty soft to something like Griff Spoon. Griff Spoon is going to be tough to beat. So maybe for that reason I should be being more aggressive. But starting next turn, he's going to have to start chump blocking with this bottle. No, oh, no. Do another bottle. I'd love to naturally draw a stubborn denial so I can have a little less pressure on myself. I could just cast that and attack with both. It's interesting. I could just cycle it and then still hold back the Gurmag Angler. I'm in the same spot. I could hit something relevant. I think that's what I'm going to do. Is it loose to cycle it again? Let's see what our opponent's drawing. If my opponent's drawing crap, then I can flash back my Faithless Living. Theory of Armor. That's not crap, so I have to counter that. And then we're going to leave all these cards in our hand because our Snapcaster Mage is going to be gone. I'd love to draw just a team or battle rage or a stubborn dial. Or even another death shadow. Okay. That should seal it up. Yeah. I did not think that bottles would end up being as good of a matchup as it is. But, like, I just ranch this deck. And I don't even have, like, a very good sideboard plan for it. It's not like I'm boarding in 10 cards, like human or something like that. I do like how the deck just transforms when you play against human. It's kind of fun. I'm going to grab some more coffee. I'll be right back. I'm just going to mute myself while I eat my apple. So, be right back.
Very few things make me happier than when my opponent has a good attack against a Death Shadow and just doesn't do it. Okay, so they have Pat the Exile, which can be in trouble. But if I go Fetch Shock to five, I have my other Fetch Land, so then I go to seven. That's 14 damage. So they don't block, they're dead. If they do block, they lose their creatures. So I might as well flash the Snapcaster Mage in. And I'm going to fetch the Steam Vents so I don't draw it. And then I guarantee that if my opponent doesn't block, they're dead. We're not playing around. Um, they would have pathed me right there if they had pathed. So. So they have to block the Death Shadow. And the attack with the Snapcaster Mage is free. Because they're dead if they block it. They just don't block. Alrighty. Okay, I'm actually going to run a little plug here and restart Modo. So I appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out tonight. My name today, my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm part of the Cardboard Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. That makes so more people see it, and it makes streaming more fun for me. Excuse me. If you want to support me further, go over to my YouTube channel. It's linked below, and just hit the subscribe button. Subscriptions are the best way to support me on YouTube. They're free. You know, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, if you want to have Magic Online needs, check out Card Hoarder. Or if you uh, want to buy paper cards, look at Gamer Craze. They foster a college environment, so their singles are really competitively priced. So check them out. And check me out on Twitter. That's where I like to talk about Magic. It's all linked below. So Moto is Moto's trying. You can do it, Modo. You can do it. Okay. So, MTG stream. Hey, no problem there, Sir Surio88. Remember, if you want to, if you appreciate the stream, go over to YouTube and hit the subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. I appreciate all the subscriptions on Twitch, but like I get that it costs money. Oh, Billy. Oh, they're over there. I just heard him make some noise. So. All that's linked below. Moto, you can do it. Make it happen, Moto. Most of I, I stream some standard every once in a while. I rarely do Legacy, and I mostly play Grixis Shadow. Even though I, get, I had a couple beers a couple nights ago and played some Amulet Titan, and that was fun. It was tough, but it was a lot of fun. So we started 2-0 last time and won our second match against Bogles. So, like, are we destined for the... The O three now. Siri88, Sir, 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 OA8. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. 
And I'm, I'm recording my stats that I do with this Death Shadow deck because I think I'm going to make a... I think I'm going to do something sweet with it. I'm not sure why. I'm going to keep this hand. Because it's, it's a pretty quick angler with a lot of disruption. Angler. What do we got here? All right. Playing some good, honest, fair magic. Also lets me know where the metagame is, at least on Moto. Take my dismember. So I'm going to start off with an Inquisition. You just link your list here. This Battle Rage is a pretty easy ditch in this other angler. If my opponent discard spells me again, I'm going to be sad. But. Such is life. All right, so we're playing the Shadow Mirror. This is where, where magic players are made. So if my opponent, I actually should turn on my, if my opponent thought seizes me, I'm going to cycle my Stream Wraith. This is probably a quick angler, though, from their, their play pattern would suggest it. Okay, so they're they're nasty. Okay, so now I can hit them with a discard spell and cast my own angler, which I'm all about. So let's hit them with this discard spell. Jeez, it's a lot of stubborn denials, but I'm gonna take their Snapcaster Mage, and with a hand like this. I, if my opponent offers the trade with the Gurmag Angler, I'm going to take it. Because it effectively blanks a couple cards in their hand. We can get rid of the Battle Rages, they're no good. So let's look at this. Four Snapcaster Mages. So right off the bat, what I don't really like about this list is I don't like having four Snapcast Mages in a deck with four Bobbles and two Faithless Lootings, as you've only got two, four, two, four, six. Oh, you don't have any Stubborn Denials. You don't have any Denials. That's what. That's weird. You have a lot of removal. Is, it, is this like metagame tuned? Is this is this what you're playing against? So what did they play? They played a Polluted Delta, so that's what they drill. And again, I'm going to trade here because they drew polluted delta. They're sitting on snap. They're sitting on land stub stub. It just, it just turns their hand off. All right, so now we are going to cycle. Okay, snapcaster mage is pretty good. Just going to take a stubborn denial. I don't understand that trade from my opponent. I think that I think that Gurmag angler is really all you have going on. Yeah, I definitely I definitely think that's an, a very odd play for my opponent. Scalding Tarn is what they drew. Till. I'd like a cantrip. Because a cantrip's gonna turn on my Death Shadow or my Snapcaster Mages as well. Okay, so I just played the watery grave. I could, well, I could have flashed in my Snapcaster Mage, but now I might start flashing in a Snapcaster Mage to beat with. I didn't think about that long enough. It might have been right to do. So now are we on the Snap Beat plan? We don't really have a lot. I think I'm going to. Maybe that's dumb. It's likely dumb to be that aggressive, I think. I think that was a mistake. Um, I think I'm actually just going to ditch both of my Stubborn Denials. All 
I honestly think a redraw at a land is better than my stubs right now. And if I hold this Snapcaster Mage, I have Snap Stub rolled up. I have to get I have to slog through my opponent's stubborn denial, but we're gonna look to do that probably right here. So they don't imagine what my opponent has left. It's probably they probably have a handful of Snapcaster Mages, if I had to assume. And that's an okay trade. And then I'm just gonna do this on their upkeep here, because I don't I don't want to um I don't want them to be able to see what I drew with a discard spell. Lightning bolt. Okay. So that deals with Snapcaster Mage. Which is what's going on. Okay. Jeez. So I want this to resolve and not get force spiked. This is likely going to like show me a Snapcast Mage. Fatal Push Team of Battle Rage. Okay, so let's get rid of the push. Battle Rage makes a lot of sense. Okay, so they drew Serum Visions. So, sir, sir, is that is that deck, how tuned is your deck list? What did they do? They went bottom, bottom. So I'm going to get this untapped. This is just so I can do something good with my Snapcast Mage next turn. All right, we don't want any of these. Now I'm much more comfortable Snaps here envisioning next turn because I got two removal spells. I've got two different ways to deal with Nasty, or two different ways to deal with a creature from my opponent. All right, here comes a Delve card. I like that my, if my opponent's playing a Delve card, I like that they're they're leaving cards in their graveyard. It's just a good play to do. Like you, like if I my opponent, I know exactly what my opponent has. I think they should just pay probably pay full retail, unless they have a Tassiger in their deck. If they have a Tassiger in their deck, then they should selectively. Which I'm going to guess they have Tassiger. Okay, so we're going to snap Serum Visions. Okay, we don't want any of these. We're starting to get to the point where our faith is looting. It's going to get good. Okay, so my opponent's just drawing pretty atrociously. All right, there we go. So that's likely the that's the game, because we have Death Shadow covered. Yeah, we actually, that's just like checkmate, because they don't, like, with the Stubborn Denial, removal for creatures, they don't really, they don't have anything that they can draw here. Let's get rid of Bobble, Street Wraith, land, 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 Street Wraith. Opponent's got seven lands that produce mana, which is good to know. Okay. Had it. And the last card's Battle Rage, which we know about. Okay. Let us begin sideboarding. So I like Command, I like Spell Bomb, and I like Last Hope. I tried Explosives. So a little like Shadow history here. I played Jun Shadow for like probably a year. Like I thought Jun Shadow was still good when Grixis Shadow was good because you had the uh, you had like Lilianas and Lingering Souls after sideboard, which were just so good in the matchup. Like just so dominant. Like when when. 
when uh, when Grixis Shadow was everywhere, I played four Liliana as my main deck. I was just a Jun deck that was more effect more efficient. Um, and I did not play a lot when Sh when Grixis Shadow Mirrors were like, and there like explosives weren't in the sideboards of any of these decks back then. So when I was playing a lot of Shadow Mirrors, I didn't have engineered explosives. Now that I have engineered explosives, I wonder if it's right to have EE in in the sideboard of games. Like, because it hits... It's another answer to Death Shadow, which you're lighter on because of how the metagame is. Like, there's only two pushes. You used to have four pushes back in the day. And um, it hits all the Lilianas after sideboard. So it's just kind of food for thought. And I, I'm not sure. I don't... Like, my gut tells me no, it is not right. But... All right, uh, this hand's pretty good, and we're definitely in the definitely in there for a shadow. We got a ley line. Hot take: This ley line is unplayable in these shadow decks unless you have faithless looting. If you have faithless looting, you can get away with this a little bit. Okay, so we hit my snapcaster. That's a good play for my opponent. So we're in a lot of trouble here. It's gonna be a tough game to win. This is likely to get pretty ugly. I still don't really like that play from my opponent. Okay, so they have looting. The, the hard part about Ley Line is that you probably need at least three. You need three of them in order for them to be... Uh, them to be worth it. And they, they drew another Ley Line. So this is why you can play it with Faithless Looting. Okay. You need at least three of it to be good. And um, it's just tough to find. Like, I have two, and I, I feel like I had to squeeze two spots in. So we're about to get nasty. Tilt. This is going to get tough. Uh-huh. They're also much more... Um, just cut my hands down. Um, they're also much more, uh, what was I going to say? God, I'm losing my mind. I can't even think. God damn it. I'm getting old. I think I have CTE. Okay, so they do have, so we sniffed out the Tasker in their deck. I wouldn't be surprised if you're still in the chat, Ben. I wouldn't be surprised this guy's playing your list from a little while ago. weren't you weren't you interested in a Tassiger? I think we're just gonna get a couple tap lands here. The nice thing is my opponent doesn't really have a lot going on. Besides this, and if we can find a death shadow, we're kind of doing it. We're gonna dismember a death shadow, not Gurmy anywhere. Gurmy Boy is not what we're talking about. I don't think you can do that. I think you need to ban cards in modern. I'm actually writing an article for Top Deck Productions, and I believe that Ancient Stirrings is like too good for the format. So I, th I think they should cut Ancient Stir. I think they should ban Ancient Stirrings. And I'm gonna I'm, I'm actually have the article finished. I just need to type it up, make it look. I need to make it look good, like read through it and such. All right, that's a really good draw. Hopefully they don't stub this. So I can set something up where I use Snapcaster, Lightning Bolt, and Liliana Lasso to kill this Tasker. Damn it. Oh my god. That would be egregious. So I can still trade here. Petting my if my opponent doesn't have anything.
Oh, shoot. I should have done that. I forgot it doesn't draw a card while you have Leyline in play. Well, now we're going to go for it. We're going to go for the Snapcast, Flash Snapcaster and Block Tasker, and then uh, Bolt Tasker. That's the line. Okay, you got a lightning bolt. Show me the bolt. Bolt me. Yeah, they got it. All right, game, game three. The what? What the like? The problem also with Tron and Lan with Tron and KCI is that there's you you the decks are incredibly difficult to interact with, which. Causes which promotes. Uh, I don't think we want to change the deck on the play. No, we're just gonna keep it. it the the decks Tron and Land Tron and KCR are very difficult to interact with. Um, if you think of the best sideboard cards against Tron, probably the best ones are Ceremonies Projection, uh, Damping Sphere, Blood Moon, Stony Silence, and what's the last one? Fulminator Mage. Um, two of those five cards, yeah, yeah, Russell Wilson, um, two of those five cards, jeez, these mulligans are killing me. All right, we're going to keep this. Two of those five cards are too slow on the draw. Like, I think we got to put this on top. No, I'm going to put it on the bottom. We already have a Snapcaster Mage, damn it. No, I should have put it, that was so stupid. I should have put it on top because I could have just fetched it away. I got talking and I just zoned out. All right, we're going to go like this. Um, two of those five answers are too slow. No, that that was right. That was the right thing to do, Cat's Bonus. I got it right after I, I said it. But um, two of those five answers are too slow. They play um, whatever it is in their sideboard on the draw. On the draw, they're too slow because you're already staring down a Karn before you played them. Okay, so we're going to take Snapcaster Mage, I would assume. This is going to be tough to win. I've already, like, fucked this game up so bad. Um, the other two cards, uh, Damping Sphere and Stony Silence, trade poorly, mana-wise, and even the other, like the Blood Moon does, with Nature's Claim, which is like a great sideboard card for that deck. Um, Faithless Looting. Yeah, we can keep a Looting. And then I am just going to take a draw step because I don't really care what we draw here. Because Okay, so we're going to get bailed out here quite a bit. So we're going to get Blood Crypt. We're pretty soft to like a dismember. That's real good. One, two. I think we're just going to get rid of these. Um, and then nature's claim is like zero cost for these decks to play because your the life doesn't matter. Each one of the each one of uh, Tron and KCI they produce enough of an advantage where the four life is is relevant. Another issue that I have with um, both Tron another issue is like their KCI it's impossible to interact with that deck besides counter spells. Because once you have KCI in play or Scrap Taller or Mirror Retriever in play, then it effectively, the shatters effectively become bad. And that's like, that's really, that's pretty awkward. That like, against the Artifact deck, Artifact Disruption is not good. Um, I'm going to put this on the bottom and I'm going to put this on top. So that's another reason I don't like that deck is like, and then also, I mean, I guess we've given up on the turn three things of modern. But, like, Tron effectively wins on turn three a lot of the time. If this is a task here, we're going to be in some trouble. I guess I shouldn't. Um, I just think that that, and then also, like, they just promote bad gameplay. Like, honestly, the best, that's fine, right there. The best way... I'm not sure that 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 actually matters anymore because as the cards get older, um, as the format and the card, I'm gonna see what I have coming next. 
and then figure out from this thought sees. Okay, so both of these cards, one, two, three, four, yeah. So we're gonna go, we're gonna put on top, put on top. Okay, so I have to take this death shadow and hope my opponent misses for one more turn on lands. My opponent misses here, I'm in good shape. They didn't miss. Tilt. So now here comes a big old, big old death shadow. I played humans. I, I played humans before. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. So I don't really care about either of these cards, I don't think. Well, actually, I do care about the stubborn denial. So let's. Thought sees the denial. Play <sighs> matches hollow one. Live with terminal thoughtsies. Turn two. Put fourteen power on play. Yeah, that's that's tough. So we have a couple outs to this. We could just draw lightning bolt. They gotta get Death Shadow back, right? We return Gurmag Angler. That's interesting. They just did return Gurmag Angler because I have less outs, I guess, to that. To killing that. Like, it's easier to kill Death Shadow than it is Gurmag Angler. But I've already... How many cards have I seen here? I've got one push. So I've got a push, bolt, and one dismember left that would probably end the game. Next turn. Yeah, probably. That makes sense. That is good thinking there. And and Roberson. Something I would have missed. Ooh. Rewarded. Yeah, we're just gonna pass. Draw a card on their turn. The only way to return that Death Shadow. So they have Fatal Push. They're drawing Snapcaster Mage. Oh my god. What do they have in their graveyard? Which one of these? What the? F I gotta get rid of this. I gotta get rid of all this crap here. They have a Dismember. But they can't. They can cast it. But it would cost, it would effectively stone rain themselves. I'm just going to take this. My most best play is probably still to just roll down. I don't know what my opponent's best play is, to be honest. So you gotta get Death Shadow back here, right? I'm not sure they have enough lands in their deck. We haven't milled them all over. No, that's definitely live for land. So they get back Death Shadow. Okay. So I can just untap here. So I can actually thought seize the Snapcaster Mage. They flash this in. We see what they target. They probably target Stub. No, nah, they don't target stub. That's stupid. They target stub. Okay. 
that wasn't a bad draw step for the home team. Basically, we're just going to trade anglers. They get the first crack at the next draw step, and they have a snapcaster mage. And I'm going to play my land out because I have a like. There's a couple three mana plays that would be good for us. Serum Vision is a good hit. They're in bottom bottom. I don't think that I cracked this because I no, I'm, I'm dead to pretty much everything, so I might as well crack it. They ripped a K command that I'm pretty I'm in trouble here. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four outs that win me the game. And a couple outs that keep the game going. Should have got another red source. That was a pun. No, I don't have any brutalities in my deck. I should have gotten a second red source, so that was stupid because I can't go. Thought see I can't go Thought Scour into or Faithless Looting into Bolt. So we're gonna pass. My opponent just GG'd me. I don't exactly know what that means. Don't they not know do they know their top card? They don't know their top card. I don't understand. So I'm going to flash Snapcaster Mage in to trade with this Snapcaster Mage and target Fatal Push. So hang on. Actually, if I don't target, if I target Fatal Push, then I'm guaranteed to live another turn. If I target Thought Scour, then I each one of them give me another draw step. So I'm going to target Fatal Push, block this Snapcaster, but I give myself two draws, right? Because I guess they can play Gurmag Angler, right? That was stupid. Yeah, I, I didn't see the Gurmag Angler in their graveyard. I was gonna like I was worried about the death the death shadow. Yep. Yeah, I, I didn't I forgot about the angler. So just just a zone out. No, because then he's well actually so No no you're right. If I push now, then I have the Snapcaster in play, which gives me more draws. Then they can flash, they can snap, they can return their snapcaster mage and push my snapcaster mage. Yeah, no, I'm going to push it. Because now my Snapcaster is on the board. Interesting game. I really would like to beat my opponent just because they GG's me early. I cast Leyline of the Void and tick up. So this gives me two draw steps. 
Right? Isn't this just crazy for my opponent to do? Yeah, that was just that was just like completely a heinous play, right? And they're drawing a land. Redraws for days. Yeah. No flashback. They're looting. Again, I've got four outs that that win me the game. They return Death Shadow. They've got Stubborn Deny. They've got If I was my opponent, I would have flashed back looting before I did anything. Because your last card will land. It doesn't do anything. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go, baby. He doesn't have denial. His last cards, his last cards polluted Delta, because I saw it off my bottle. Now my opponent's salting off. Yeah, my opponent gave me, yeah, my opponent, like, like, yes, I got lucky I drew Lightning Bolt, but, like, my opponent could have shut the door on this game much, much earlier. Now they're just going to sit here. Now they're just going to sit here and make me... Waste time. There we go. Suck it! Man. Mm hmm. I agree. I agree. Like, my opponent had that game in the bag. They would have cut off a couple draws if they, like, the turn they played the ley line was just absolutely ridiculous. Like, that was, like, a very dumb play. And I just like that he GG's me. Like, he GG'd me when it was clearly not GG's. I know. Like, he just was like, GG's. And I'm like, excuse me. Hey, bud. I don't know this guy, but he knows me. I just want to make bite. I I'll let you know when it's good games. I'm gonna lead off on the Inquisition actually. Oh, I'm so hyped up after doing that. Oh my god, that feels so great. Oh burn baby burn. We're so dead if we don't find a way to deal with this. So we're just gonna take this. God, we are screwed six ways to Sunday here. Oh, nice. I hope all is well, Kenny. Oh, I remember. You played... Uh 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here we go. I remember this stuff. Yeah. Um, hang on. Let me think here. I actually don't really know how I win. I'm going to take Goblin Guide. I'm going to hope my opponent doesn't draw a spell for the rest of the game, or land for the rest of the game. I hope all is well, Ken. I know you're not, I, I hope you're not watching the stream now, but feel free to pop in at the end of the match. Glad I led with the Inquisition. There's a big brain move. Big brain hub. That's what they used to call me in high school. You know? All right, that's not bad. No, I think I'm actually just going to have to see our visions here. I need to find a Death Shadow or a Gurmag Angler in order to win this game. Yeah, even though Stubborn Denial is good, it's just not going to... It's not going to win me anything. Um, all right, that's not bad. We're just going to take care of this. We're going to get Isla next turn, and then I'm dead as a doorknob. Dude, I'm still so hyped after that guy GG's me, and then I got him. Just like, suck it, nerd. All right, we're just going to snap. I'm going to snap Serum Visions. Like, we cannot interact any longer. Like, it's basically just find Death Shadow we're going to lose. If we find Death Shadow, we're probably going to – we have a chance to win. If we can find it. If my opponent doesn't draw another land. Alright, so there's Death Shadow. So you know what's gas? Is that we have to play Shadow and Angler. It's only going to take one attack step to kill my opponent. Okay, so now we're dead. I feel. Fairly certain we're dead. Because I have to take four damage to kill them. Well. Two, three, four. I can just play both. Which is honestly probably worth it. Might still win this. like Because I go to four to Battle Rage. If they don't have a Boros Charm, I actually think I'm going to win. If they have two one mana removal spells, I'm dead. Or a Boros Charm. But ain't nobody got time to play around that. Got it. One time. One time, go do it. One time. Rift, spend Rift Bowl. Oh, Shard Barley. Tilt. Got it. Okay, so I want this stub. I want some abrades. I like K command. I bring in one X. I don't bring the explosives in. That's too slow. Cut these and one of these. Oh, dude, I still can't get over the BMGGs getting wrecked. Oh, it's a great day to be alive. I should move this up. I would like to lead off. All right, hands pretty good. I'll lead off on Watery Grave because I don't exactly know what I want to fetch for. I like K-Command against this deck after sideboard because the games, A, they slow down more, and B, some, some, board, some burn decks board bridge. So it's not good to just be cold to that. And Phil's still napping. He's still just getting his nap on. All 
Okay. So we got to take the path. Because if we don't take the path, then they're going to um, kill my death shadow. And, like, that's not good. We have to play the game a little slow. Let's scry. I don't think we're in the market for nasty. I'm going to fetch a blood crypt untapped. And I'm going to pass the turn. And I might... I honestly might flash in a Snapcaster Mage at the end of my opponent's turn if I don't draw a third land here. Looks like they're going for it. This is this is good for the home team. Okay, so we're going to get Shadow in play. They played this blood thing there. Double Shadow? Oh my god. So now I think I'm definitely going to flash in... Bing, bing. Let me think. So if I kill this, so actually, hold on. If I take, if I just flash in my Snapcaster Mage here, go Shadow, Shadow, I'm at eight, and my Shadows are five fives. And then if I untap, I go to six. My opponent, so I'm going to go flash in Snapcaster Mage, untap, go to eight. My opponent untaps, and they've got Lightning Helix, Skullcrack, Wooded Foothills. I deal two damage. I'm going to assume they just take it, so they're 15. If I go to six, my shadows are seven sevens, which makes it 14, which means they have to point burn spells at my death shadow. All right, my snapcaster mage. So we're going to go, we're going to flash in. And then we're actually going to use the Eidolon to grow our shadows. Because in order for them to kill us with the line that I played, they'd have to top deck two one mana burn spells. And that might checkmate that even. Because of the K command. So now I abrade this. I abrade the thing, go to six, hope they didn't draw two burn spells. Play my play my Scalding Tarn in case they point a burn spell at my Snapcaster Mage. Easy game. Easy game. Go team. This is going to be my last lead. I'm going to finish this up, then I need to make Phil lunch and get ready to go to... I, just, I fed him a little bit of rice, but... I have to make him some um, turkey, some ground turkey. I think this is also good for me, and I think I'm going to block. Well, hang on. I didn't think about this. So if they block, well, I lose to the same things, right? So this signifies they have two one-mana burn spells, I think. Though if they had two one mana burn spells, they would just sit back and block. Yeah, if they had two one mana burn spells, they would just block, go burn, burn, untap, burn. So I'm not going to block. I don't think I block here. Right? Because they had two one mana burn spells, they don't have to do this. I think they're trying to kill my death shadow. So we're going to let this go through. I don't think it's right to block here. Because I don't think they have it. I think he's trying to go chump, kill a helix, or kill a, uh, um, kill a death shadow. I think we got the soul ring. 
soul power. Take it easy. Gobble guide. Okay. So now we're dead to Boros charm. Well, now we're still dead to Boros charm. So they got Boros Charm, they got us. But should have pump faked. I don't know what you mean, Mr. Destroy Target Tap Creature. And we have to make sure to battle rage this one. Boros Charm me. Oh, got it. Got it. He had it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Could I beat a Boros charm? Let me look here. Let's go back here. Oh God, stop. Stop. What sucks is that with that battle rage, if I if I if I would have just blocked, I would I, the battle rage would have been fine. So I still think this play is good here, right? Like, we, we put him on double one-mana thing to kill us. Okay. So right here, my opponent's hand, what we know of is we just know, we just know these two cards here, right? So if I block, my opponent Helix is a shadow... I think the bigger question is, could you lose a shadow and still kill him? I don't think so, right? So I go to eight. If I had a stubborn denial, I think I would have blocked here. But so like, if I go to eight, lose a shadow, untap. I I, I could have killed him. Untap, fetch shock, eight, six. So I would have killed him if I know T or battle range. If I had blocked here and new battle range was on top of my deck, I'd have killed him. Well, maybe not, because. Fetch shock to eight, block helix. They're at eighteen. Yeah, so they would have died if if I would have known there was a battle rage on top. Yes, we went we went through lightning helix because he goes to eighteen. Fetch shock sixteen, battle rage sixteen plus two, is eighteen. So we we kill him. We 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 didn't play. We kill him uh, if we'd have blocked, which. I don't necessarily think my, my play is wrong because I don't think I have no information um, I have no information about the top of my opponents about the top of my deck. What I'm frustrated about uh, uh, no yeah I don't I think we made the best play without knowing battle rages on top of our deck, right? I'm going to take a picture of that. I'm going to take a picture of that. I might post like a little what's the play on Twitter. The question is, was it right to slow down and block the idol on and play a longer game? That's the question. And that's that's where the big that's where the big brain the real big brain move comes from, I think. And I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't see that.
Uh, Whitey Brow, 212, 2112, thank you for the uh, follow. I appreciate that. Guys, keep the follows coming. I'm almost to 1,000. I'm almost to 1,000 here. All right. Um, we're going to keep this. It's a little mopey. Maybe I should mulligan. I probably should mulligan. I should mulligan that. That was stupid. I'm not so sure. Active idol on plus two damage, plus an extra burn spell in hand. Has to be worse for us than him to going for kill shadow and deal no damage. I'm, oh, we're playing against. Okay, so I'm not sure. Active idol on plus two damage, plus an extra burn spell. Um, destroy tap creature. Thank you for the follow, you demand. Yeah. It's worth thinking about, though, and I, and I didn't think about it, which is. Not not how I should do it. So we lost the burn. Alright, we're playing a good match up here. So I think we just snap off a good old dismember here. I don't know why I didn't serum visions on turn one. If we're gonna be completely above the board here. Couldn't tell you why that didn't happen. I think I was just talking with the chat, and I just didn't do it. It ended up kind of working out, but... Okay, yes. I'm so good at, like, elegantly fucking up. Yeah, thanks, guys. I appreciate the follows. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Let me see. Let me see. What are we at here? What are we up to? We're going to let that resolve. Oh, baby. We're at 896. That's gas. At 1,000, I'm going to apply to GoatBots for a subscription. Looking for Battle Rage, Lightning Bolt. I think another Death Shadow is probably better than an average draw. It's probably not, actually. Because I drew nasty. We're just going to get nasty into play. So if they go artifact, artifact, and still have mana and double gal blast me, I'm gonna be pretty sad. But I think that I think that getting double gal blasted is how do I lose? I get double gal blasted, right? They go, they would already have their stuff in play. I might as well try to insulate myself more against Edge Champion. And get just just diversify my threats here. Sorry to be more articulate. I think you were right in the assessment that if he killed the shadow, we couldn't kill him next turn. But with our life totals and the cards had left, I think we didn't need to kill him the following turn. And we're in a general in a better position to win the game. That's totally legit. That's super legit. Like that you like you you could be you could be speaking the gospel there nw robinson you could be doing the lord's work okay so we're on the draw so i'm going to board out um another i'm going to board out three gurmag anglers because all we need is one death shadow really like we just need a death shadow and a like, ger, like um, whatever it is, Gurmag Angler is just like not not great, especially when Lava Mancer is just a better graveyard plan. All right, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's borderline though. I have a push, and I can find more interaction. Okay, so let's take a look at our top card here. I don't really want to push this when this is our only when this is our only removal spell. So I actually think I'm just gonna go get a steam vents in Serum Visions. I'd much rather hit like a Steel Overseer.
Okay, these are all pretty good. I think we're just going to put put this on top, put this on top. Yes. In, in my op opinion, you miss the attacking with a Snapcaster. Yeah, we death shadows gas. Wow, that was a quick old, uh, not a quick old cranial plating. But I got myself a good old uh, death shadow. So fetch shock. Eight, ten, five. Ooh, rut row. So I want to make my Death Shadow nine, so it still dies to Gal Blast. All right, Omaha. We're not going to play the Shadow this turn. We're going to ceremonious reject something, and then we're going to fatal push this Vault Scourge. At turn two, five, you shit. It's nice. I don't even do that kind of crap. Do they move this over here? I think I'm just going to push it. What is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, John, is, John just isn't good. Like... Like, Reed Duke didn't even play Jund at the last GP. Stubby D. Wow, this deck's taking a play out of my book. What a meanie. All right, so we're going to go to two. So, like, Lightning Bolt? Kill? I didn't see her visions on my turn. Yeah. I didn't see her visions on my own turn because I wanted to, like, stubborn. I wanted to, like, push this, hit it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I just messed that turn up. Just missing a pair of fetches. Which ones are you missing? Okay. And on the play, we're going to ditch a Thoughtseize. Put another Nasty in. Nasty Germasty, baby. This is going to be my last match of the day. i got to take care of little Phil boy. Please, like and follow the stream so that somebody will... Someday pay me to play Magic the Gathering, and then I can feed my dog. This is some risky shit. I'm just borrowing it. Lava Man is so good. This hand is so good in the matchup. What do I have? I've got three bobbles, so I've got... After I fetch, I'll have 15 lands, 15 hits. Okay. I'll have three bobbles, which is, so I have 15 hits. 35% it'll get there every time. Fuck. Damn you, magic cards. Damn you, magic cards. I should have kept that hand. I could bar I could defend myself. Alright, Peter. Yeah, I think we put that on top, and I think we're actually just going to leave it there. Like we'll go 
Serum Visions into um, we'll Serum Visions into Fatal Push next turn. We'll just we'll get nasty this turn. Yeah, but the problem is, is like the Liliana is also basically a mulligan. So what am I doing with this? I'm probably just gonna get blood crit, unfortunately. I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of blue sources. Maybe I was being aggressive. Be aggressive. Be -E aggressive. Alright. We're playing magic. Um, let's put this. Do we want a bottom? So one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. Fetch land nasty, but then we don't have this. If I get to bolt something, one, two, three, four. I think we have to put this on top. I think it's more important to get nasty down than to draw the lightning bolt. With a scry, yes. If I could scry to a land, I would I would snap keep that six. Absolute here. Alright, this game's gonna get hard. Alright, we're gonna basic with this. All right, we got a three-turn clock. Just anything but an edge champion. It's an edge champion. This is totally an edge champion. Big draw step off the top. Give me a cake, command, as you free my soul. I want to get lost in your command and roll. Philly boy, Philly boy. Dad, you're such a nerd. What the fuck is that? All right, joke's on you. Oh, that's that's actually not, that's awesome. We're totally going to win this game. As long as we don't get etched championed. I think we're going to win this game. And we might win this game through an edge champion. Doodle boy. Doodle, doodle, doodle boy. Doodle boy. All right. So that's still okay, right? So on the stack... They should have. They did this in. They did this in the wrong order. Oh my god! Oh my god! Give me that goodness! Give me that goodness! Upstairs, get out of my face. Oh my god, few things in life feel better than smoking an ex champion. God, you can get your protection from bullshit out of my face, and then they're one off from dying. That's shock, they're out of one. So there ain't no point. Advantage bar. Oh, nice. Nice. Pum. Pum. Pum, pum. Yeah, dude, go moon yourself. Get moon, baby. Oh yeah, that was awesome. That was gas. Oh, lead. Phil, Phil, Philly boy, Philly boy.
Philly Boy. We killed an edge champion. All right, let's move back to the deck here. Look at this. That was so insane. Moto's crashing. Moto's like, I can't even. 4-1. Yeah, went 2-3 in the first one, went 4-1 in the second one. So I like this deck a lot. I think this deck's pretty gas. Let me update my spreadsheet here. Since I started testing this deck here, so... I started testing this deck. We're 60... I'm 63 matches in, and I'm clipping at about a 65% win rate, which is just about where Daddy wants to be. Oh, N. Robinson, what a guy. What a guy. Let's open up some chests for N. Robinson. Look at this. I also opened up a Mox Emerald. Let's open up a chest for N. W. Robinson because he's gas. All right, Brushland. I stream about twice a, oh, not bad. Which edition is this? 10th edition, 85, what a tilt. I stream twice a week always, usually Wednesday night and Sunday morning, and I stream about every, all right, that's, we're going to leave it at that. And I stream uh, randomly, and you guys can follow me on Twitter to see when I go live. If you've got the follow button, hit those notifications. We're only 100 followers off to where we want to be. But... But we are actually, that's going to be it for me tonight, today. Phil Boy needs some food. He needs some love. Everybody here, you get your, like, our, our new subscriber gets his gas emoji here. You know, for Phil Boy. If that chest was any less gas, it should be me. What a, what a meme. I love it when memes subscribe to my channel. So we're going to send you guys over to Z Boy Wonder who is a part of the Card Hoarder Network. And I hope everyone has a good rest of their day. Check me out on Twitter. Hit that follow button. You guys are all great. I'll see you all tomorrow. Or see you all some other, some other time.